The women activists joined by several men gathered at Centennial Park in Kampala ahead of the march. Most of them were clad in t-shirts on which strong messages condemning violence against women were inscribed. Hopefully it will continue to draw attention to the need to push more and more uh, for gender equality as well as an end to violence against women and children. And when women are killed, sometimes they don't attract the same attention as when men are killed. And I'm here to say and to make a statement that women's lives matter in the same way as men's lives. The procession started on a high note. The key message here from the group is that women's lives really matter and they're sending a message uh, to the police to stop the rampant killings and kidnaps of women in Uganda. At the railway grounds, various people spoke out about the rampant kidnaps and murders. But we have lost more than 42 women in less than two years. And in very gruesome, they've lost their lives in very gruesome ways and yet nothing, no report has, has been you know, produced. Everyone in power seems comfortable when like Mutua Wansi is being killed. So this is me standing with my fellow young people saying, hey, we are not comfortable. Sex workers are being killed all the time in different places and the government has, has not come out to protect the sex workers. So we are here together with other women so that we can end the murder of women in Uganda. A moment of silence was observed for the women who have lost their lives to violence. Susan Magara. At least 23 women were murdered in Wakiso district, some of them being raped in the space of three months, starting May 2017, raising fears that serial killers were behind the violence. Ali Mivli, NTV.